Hey everyone, this video is about dysfunctional uterine bleeding. Definition It is menorrhagia which is not associated with any structural abnormality, disease in pelvis, and general endocrine disease with normal uterus and its appendices on bimanual pelvic examination. There is no extragenital cause of bleeding. Etiology Etiology is purely hormonal. There is hypertrophy and hyperplasia of endometrium due to high estrogen. Pathogenesis Reduced level of progesterone cause low level of PGF2 alpha and cause menorrhagia. Increased level of tissue plasmonism activator, a fibrinolytic enzyme leads more fibrinolysis. Classification and ovulatory 80% Threshold bleeding of puberty menorrhagia. Metropathia hemorrhagica, premenopausal dysfunctional uterine bleeding, ovulatory 20%, irregular ripening, irregular shedding, IUCD insertion, following sterilization operations, puberty menorrhagia. It is threshold bleeding of adolescent girls due to unstopped estrogen and absence of progesterone in an ovulatory cycles. It occurs as excessive bleeding or normal but continuous bleeding lasting many years. Metropathia hemorrhagica. It is a special type of dysfunctional uterine bleeding. In it, endometrium is thick and polypoidal and one or other ovary contain a cystic follicle. It is more prevalent in women over the age of 40 years. Continuous vaginal bleeding lasting for many weeks is commonest symptom. Bleeding is painless. Bleeding is preceded by amenorrhea of 8 to 10 weeks in 50% patients. Sometimes bleeding shows normal pattern and occurs at the time of period in patients. It is preceded by menorrhagia. Premenopausal dysfunctional uterine bleeding. It is seen in women with anovulatory cycles before menopause. Pathological anatomy. Mild myohyperplasia of myometrium cause enlargement of uterus. The endometrium is thick, hemorrhagic and polypoidal are thin shell under project downwards to the internal OS. Endometrium shows characteristics glandular hyperplasia. Most of the gland shows cystic dilation and large cyst can be seen by naked eyes. This is called Swiss cheese pattern. There is absence of secretory hypertrophy so that corkscrew shaped glands are never seen. Areas of necrosis are scattered over superficial layers of endometrium and histological mm -hmm. features in these necrotic areas correspond with those found in the menstruating endometrium. Diagnosis History of onset Duration and amount of bleeding Its character and cyclic features Antecedent causes such as IUCD, recent delivery, abortion, drug therapy General examination with thyroid examination, complete blood count followed by abdominal and bimanual pelvic examination, ultrasound to exclude pelvic pathology, diagnostic carotids to obtain material for histology, hysterosalpingography, hysteroscopy examination, treatment, conservative, if bleeding is not heavy and patient HP is normal, observation and maintenance for few months, oral iron for anemia, rest and sedation, blood transfusion for severe anemia, Hormonal therapy, orally acute active prostaglandin steroids such as norethestrone, progesterone IOD also stop bleeding in 90% patients. Denazole has progesteronic action on endometrium, GnRH, nasates, mephenemic acid. Surgical treatment, dilation and curtis in genital TB. Hysterectomy, in severe menorrhagia. It is contraindicated in enlarged uterus, fibroid uterus, and scarred uterus. Endometrial carcinoma, young women. Its complications are pulmonary edema, embolism, hypertension, hemorrhage, infection. Radiofrequency induced thermal endometrial ablation. Balloon therapy. Microwave endometrial ablation.